How to set up your own private file server. The tools you will need are an older computer with Windows 2000 or XP installed on it, a 10 slash 100 megabits per second gigabit router, any brand will do, Ethernet cables, wireless adapters if you want to access your server wirelessly, the FileZilla FTP software, the FileZilla FTP client software optionally, and good computer navigational skills. The computer we will be using today is a Dell Optiplex GX240 with a 1.8 GHz Pentium 4 processor, 256 MB of RAM, and a 40 GB hard drive with Windows XP Professional Service Pack 2 installed on it. Usually you do not want to use a computer with a processing speed lower than 600 MHz as a file server. It will be fairly slow and harder to deal with when a problem occurs. The computer you will be using as a server can still be used normally but will have a program running in the background. If the server has multiple connections at the same time, you may notice a decrease in speed. Since this tutorial is about small private file servers, you probably will not encounter very many connections at the same time. First, download the FileZilla FTP server software for Windows in the page listed below. If you are not able to directly download the FileZilla software onto the computer you will be using as a server, you can download it on a different computer and transfer it via flash drive. When installing the FileZilla software, follow the on-screen instructions. For this installation, we will be choosing the option that says Install as Service started manually and use the default port 14147. In the next step, we will be using the option Start Manually, and that will install the FileZilla server software. Once you install the FileZilla FTP software, a window will show up like this. If you would like to assign an administrator password, type it in and click OK. For this tutorial, we will not be using a password. When this window comes up, we will go to Edit Users. In this, we will assign users that will be allowed to log on to the file server. Click Add to add a server and type in the name that you would like. Click OK once you are done creating the user. If you would like to assign a password, then go ahead and click this and type in your password. We will not be using a password. Click on Shared Folders and click Add to add the folder you would like to share over the network. For this tutorial, we will use My Documents. Click OK. This is already set as the home folder by default. If you would like to add other directories and set that directory instead as the home folder, then go ahead. We will not be doing that in this tutorial. Also, we would like to set up a um, no limit or no download limit for the file server which means that any computer who is trying to download a file from your server will not experience a capped download speed. Click OK. It has saved the settings. To hide the server window click minimize and it will minimize into the system tray. Setting up the network. First plug an Ethernet cable into the Ethernet port of your server then plug the other end of that cable into your router. Repeat this process with the computers you would like to access the server through, also known as the client computers. Tip 3. Make sure you have enabled the local area network connection on both computers. You can do this by going to Start, Control Panel, Network and Internet, Network Connections. Then right click on the local area network connection and click Enable. Accessing the files. For this next step, you will need to know your server's IP address. To do this, follow the steps that I mentioned before to get to your local area network connection. Then double click on it. It will bring up this status window. Then click Support tab. It will show the IP address right here. And in this case, this IP address of my server is 192.168.2.2. However, I'm using a different computer right now, so it's .3 but my server's actual IP address is 192.168.2.2. Now switch computers to test your new server out. 
Once you're on your client computer, click Start and open up a web browser, either Internet Explorer or Firefox. Now type in FTP colon double slash 192.168.2.2. That's the address of my server. Then you type in your username and password that you created using the server software on the other computer. Now you can access all the files that you specified in your server software. You can also download the files from that server and do what you wish depending on what permissions you granted them through the server software. Note, any computer that is on the same network as the server will be able to access the files on it. If you would like to connect to the server wirelessly, set up your network the exact same way except you will need wireless router and wireless adapters for each of the computers on the network. If you would like to remotely access your file server through an internet connection, here are some things to consider. You don't want anyone stealing your files, so you should password protect every single username you create. Additionally, you should invest in a high quality firewall and antivirus software, as well as contact your ISP to see whether or not they allow a server being run over their connection. Errors that may occur. If your client computers are unable to connect to your server, your firewall or antivirus software may be blocking it. Try defining the FTP connections as a safe zone. For further support, contact your antivirus software support. If you suspect your router may be blocking the FTP connection, contact your router manufacturer for further details. If the FileZilla server is acting up, contact the FileZilla support for further details.